Hey Aries, this is Ascension Empress with your August 2019 tarot reading. Thank you for visiting my channel. I appreciate you all and I pray that you all are doing well. Happy Leo season. If you have Leo in your chart, but hey, yes, just happy. And plus it's trining y'all. So yes, I know y'all are happy to be up out of this water energy, especially with it squaring your sign, um, with it, everything being a cancer. And then Mercury is finally going direct today. It is July 31st. And also, once it goes into Leo, it's going to be trying you and it's going to be conjunct Venus and Leo, Mars and Leo, Sun and Leo, and trining your energy, which is very, very, very beautiful. A very beautiful opportunity for you all to go ahead and take action um, on what you're passionate about, what's in your heart. You know, think about that Leo energy. And y'all are the sign of taking action, okay? Wow. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm definitely going to take it. Wow. So we have <laughs> the center of the reading, the seven of wands, the page of wands, the ace of cups, and the justice card. Taking action. I mean, fighting for what you believe in. Really, really passionate about it, too, with this page of wands here. This is maybe something that just, I mean, it makes you feel like a kid. And it brings you so much emotional fulfillment and emotional renewal, but also a balance with this justice card. You could be dealing with the Libra. But I just get you're you're feeling on top of it, and you, that's exactly how you're trying to stay. Like it's nothing else, nothing more, nothing less. I mean, you can actually use like I'll take more, but just nothing less, okay? <laughs> wow, here's that sun card. And you know, I was like, Leo's he's not gonna stop the sun card because it's been popping up, popping up, popping up, popping up. And going into the past, I'm getting you focused on your happiness. You know, you feel like you're shining. Other people see you shining or whatever. And even though you probably felt like you, it was, you just weren't together with that cancer energy squaring you all. Um, but other people saw you as happy. Wow. <laughs> going forward, you have the three of... I mean, me me lying. The eight <laughs> of swords and the judgment card, which is very... Uh, at this point, I'm getting Leo season is a very, very, very transforma transformational and divine season because the judgment card has popped up in, I think, all of the readings I've done so far. And it has been in almost every position. And so to see go going forward that you have the Eight of Swords, it's like some of you could be dealing with someone who is imprisoned and... There is a judgment that is about to be made. Maybe the um, final decision is about to be made of when they go to court trial. And there's going to, either way, it's it, there's an emotional fulfillment going on. There's there's a, a, a spiritual re revelation happening as well. I'm getting amidst all of this. Someone is very, very passionate about what they believe in. They're fighting for what they believe in. They're. They're, yes, this is crazy. If this is a um, legal situation and someone is dealing with the court system and imprisonment, then they're very dedicated. I mean, they are dedicated on making that appeal happen, taking action. Uh, they have a lot of faith in it. There's a judgment being made that is beyond the court system. I mean, God's making this judgment. So whether they still serve the same time or whatever, it's just like God is still blessing this person with, with divine wisdom and with an inner peace and healing with this Ace of Cups as well that surpasses... Well, you know, whatever environment that they're in, this is like despite them still being locked up or whatever, there's there's a peace that's within them now and that God has granted them because they're defending what they believe. They're fighting for what they believe in. They're staying with their their integrity and they're fair and just in what they do, even if they weren't fair and just in how they ended up in the situation I'm getting mercy. God has granted this person mercy. Or this could be you. 
realizing this energy, this the self sabotaging and mental imprisonment that you put yourself in, and you're like, wow, I don't even know why, how. The hell. Mm. <laughs> Underlying the reading, you have the Five of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the King of Swords. And y'all been having a lot of cards popping out, but they got a story to tell. A story to tell. That's what I'm hearing. Some of you may have a story to tell. Or this person. And so they may be feeling left out, but now there's recipro reciprocity here, which is interesting. I'm really happy to see the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Six of Pentacles. Just like... It's very steady and immediate progress. And then you have the two of swords immediately going to the king of swords. So it's like a decision being made and immediately boom, like a very clear and. Yeah, it's a very clear one, very clear and direct decision, especially and I'm getting this influenced strongly by this judgment card very strongly. And this could be the judge. It can be an attorney because it's right underneath the justice card. So this decision that's being made is balanced out it's like you go from not knowing what's going on um feeling left out feeling like you don't have enough money maybe then getting the assistance and then being able to make that decision after that wow wow clarifying the entire reading you have the lovers in the death card y'all got some strong strong cards y'all aries this is transformational. The death card has been popping up too. I mean, major arcana's death, judgment, and the sun has been popping up as well. Wow. There, this is going to be a huge transformation as it pertains to not only just your relationship and how you love yourself, um, especially with this Ace of Cups here, but also... A, it's a spiritual connection that you some of you may have with others let me clarify that that's beautiful you could be dealing with a scorpio okay wow and it just popped up right on top of the lovers and the death card i mean flew out on top of it so yeah, this some this is a big legal situation for a lot of people. A lot of people taking action, um, a transformation that offends many. This is this is going to be a huge transformation. Whether this is in within a partnership, um, maybe a lot of people were thinking that you were getting a divorce, but in, going into the past, you were focused on your happiness. So therefore, you come into this month defending it and defending what you believe in, and you have this Ace of Cups. Things are finally coming to fruition now that this Mercury retrograde and this confusion and this lack of communication or this miscommunication is finally being cleared up, and that you gets you out of this Eight of Swords energy. Even though I'm getting for some of you, while you were defending um, and standing up for yourself, you may have still felt like you were in this um, Eight of Swords energy, but yet judgment is here, coming to bless you and reward you. Take heed, you guys. Take advantage. With this page of swords here, it's like, mm. somebody may be offended. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> yeah. They may be trying to guilt trip you induce fear-based tactics uh, you can't i'm sorry i don't know if you're cross watching um and you're trying to do this um maybe an air sign could be an aquarius gemini or libra especially with this lover's card uh, i don't get it that it's so much intentional or that it's someone else doing it it's just an energy um it's a spirit and it's the this codependent self-sabotaging spirit that also speaks to this eight of swords as well and you know but if you are trying <laughs> to do that to someone aka aries beware please beware because clearly god is on this person's side because of the work they've been doing Wow, look, in this slide art, because of the work they've been doing. Aries been putting in work. You can't try to come for somebody like that that's been putting in so much work on a spiritual and, I mean, on a pinnacle level, a cup level, a wand level, and a sword level. Mm -hmm. And when God is on their side, 
when God is on their side, you know, and this reading is very straightforward. You have so many cards pop out at once, um, but very, very, very meaningful cards in Aries. I just, you know, I, there is nothing else for me to say. I'm so excited for this progress that is taking place, for this transformation. I mean, the revelations. I wish you all nothing but the best, and thank you again so much.